episode three. Uh, no intro again. We're just getting straight into it. Uh, this is three 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 four E's long roller. It seems like for skills, this is pretty good. I really encourage everyone to build this. Right, this is pretty good mounting for the wheels and the chain. You could definitely add some more support to that, and maybe instead of adding a tensioner, just directly chain it if you can. And then yeah, good triangle bracing. This spot over low all looks pretty good. Thank you. Um, I don't know what team this is, but this looks like their flywheel indexer. All right. So immediately seeing this is kind of different than other flywheel indexers, right? Here you're using two pistons instead of just one, which I don't think is really necessary. And also you don't really need an axle to connect it. I mean, you could definitely just replace that with a standoff. And there's a lot of beams over here, which is like you don't really need. But yeah, this looks okay. Again, don't canty these sprockets here. For all looks okay. These are bands look perfect. And these aligners also look good. I'm giving this an A tier. Unfinished back roller from 10452J. Alright, so immediately I can see that there's a lot of unneeded beams here. Right? I, mean, I don't know why this beam is so long, but you definitely can join that. And instead of having this many support beams, right, you can definitely just have one 12 by 12 connected to your drive base like Magic In, and just stem all of your connection points out of that because a giant plate will give you a lot of connection points. I don't really think you need this triangle piece. Uh, rollers look fine. And again, back over here, you don't really need this such a long piece for that. You're going to stem another triangle brace from this beam for the back roller to this large beam. But yeah, this looks okay so far. Um, I don't know what kind of cat this is. B2. Old robots. All right, this looks like a double cat, I'm assuming. Definitely don't chain like this. I mean, this could definitely cause a lot of friction or gear slippage because of the amount, on only like a bit of teeth that is actually contacting the chain. And then again, you don't really need these funnels. And if you already stemmed beam out from here, you can just directly connect it, right? It'll have a lot more support. Um, again, I also don't recommend this kind of drive base. I don't think it has enough support. Okay, Sota with a QD pass spot. All right, this looks very, very light. I would guess only like three or four pounds. It's a two to one drive base. I think you could definitely speed that up to a 2.5 or three to one. But yeah, this intake looks fine. I mean, chain isn't really that long, so I guess you could canty these, but I don't really recommend it. You could definitely just add a one by there. I'd also recommend connecting your intake motors with your, you know, your back roller. This looks like the China loading bot, um, like unfinished. I mean, no aligners, no reader mechanism. I think this will shape out to be a really good bot. Right, we got, looks like a winch catapult here. Uh, if we increase your speed. Um, but yeah, this looks pretty good. The hero bot mechanism. This here is actually really, really impressive. Um, good brain placement. Um, I think this drive base gearing is a bit scuffed, but yeah, you know, it's fine. Two motor drive. I wouldn't really recommend that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna give this a B tier. Carl with a secret wall. Okay. Um, to me, this looks like the TCTM wall. Um, you know, you have a hinge on these one buys and then it can bend back really easily but these rubber bands stop it i would not recommend this type of wall you could just change to like a magic type of wall but yeah this is definitely really really easy to make and still really light so yeah don't know how to make a rubber band wall you could definitely just try this we got oh this looks really really heavy you can completely get rid of these funnels i don't really need them intake looks okay i wouldn't really recommend having such a long standoff here and don't use this many beams on an intake, right? You only need a two by. This looks like a double kata. Shooting very fast. Good aligners, but I think you could definitely reduce the weight on this spot. Remove a lot of these beams and you do not need that many pins for just decoration, man. Like, you know, stickers are a thing. I'm going to give this C tier. This looks like another double kata. Um, definitely you can just join these two chains together. Don't do chain drive like this again. Um, yeah. A lot of weight, reduce some of this. I mean, you again, you could just stem a 12 by 12 because 12 by 12s are actually not that heavy because you can have a lot of use out of them. You don't really need these funnels here. I'm going to give this a C tier as well. All right, Kinetic Force with their August bot. Really, really clean. You know, this build quality is really good. 
Um, such a short chain definitely can be cantied, but still, I would recommend adding some kind of one bite here. Um, really good aligners. I mean, this kind of aligner, I would recommend a lot of teams to do. This is what they call the biggie mech. This type of funnels you can keep, right? Because it doesn't really slow down balls entering your intake. I mean, if you have a flywheel bot, I recommend you to build these kind of funnels. As with, looks like, um, a catapult. This looks like a double cata. This, this mech is really good. You can easily score in the low goal or pass, which is, this is simple, right? So I think you should definitely check this out in the Discord server and maybe ask them how they built this. Build quality could definitely be improved. I mean, change these to one buys and your entire chain is bending. I don't think this intake is really that well built. So definitely rebuild it with our spacing guide in the Discord. This is getting an S tier and I'm going to give this... C tier. Looks like another flywheel bot. Do not chain your intake like this. Again, just add more sprockets, please. This axle does not need to be that long, but it's fine. These triangle liners look okay because, you know, it kind of acts like a ramp because the sprockets are pretty high up. Good aligners. And then the wall. I mean, you could definitely change to um, Carl's wall. You don't really need so many plates just for a wall. I'm going to give this a B tier. All right, 24935E. This bot, instantly, I can see it's really, really heavy. Good China loading. Um, This looks like the redirect mechanism, back roller. Yeah, I mean, this bot looks really bulky. I bet that if you did a rebuild, you could definitely eliminate a lot of these useless beams. Like, back here, you don't need these this many beams. And you don't really need these. Your catapult could definitely be made smaller. So yeah, I recommend you to just create a new bot, use this as your model. It could save you a lot of weight and time. Giving this a B tier. Acrolar bot. This is terrible tank placement. Don't put your tanks here. Um, solenoid, don't put that on the drive base. I recommend you guys to keep all of your pneumatic stuff as far inside as you can tuck it. Good rubber bands. I think this intake is pretty good. Yeah, uh, definitely you could improve this aligner a bit. And don't just spread your chain that far, especially with no spacing here. This looks okay, it doesn't look that heavy, so I'll give this, yeah, an A tier. Any recommendations on this? All right, the wall rider, uh, definitely add some rollers on this, this one by, long one by beam, uh, just to allow you to ride on that wall really easily. And you could definitely simplify this connection point a lot more. I'm going to give this a B tier. All right, that's going to be all for today. See you guys.